Last time we discussed Bootstrap World, but you might be having two questions that are quite pertinent. One, how did we come up with Bootstrap World in the first place? And two, how are we able to sample from a sample? That seems super weird. We're going to answer both of those questions today. So first, let's start with the basic example. We've got our population, and this population can be really big. Uh, in goes to infinity. What we would do if we were interested in a confidence interval in the population is we would go ahead and take samples from the population of some size. We can say n equals 20. We get lots and lots of samples. We then compute the function of interest on these samples and get us back a theta hat for each sample. Based on that, we can get the sampling distribution, and then we can compute the confidence interval thereon. Okay. The problem here is that we need to sample from the population lots and lots of times. And sampling from the population lots and lots of times is very time consuming and or money intensive. So what do we do? Well, if you remember, we were in a very similar situation before where we wanted to compute some function on the population, but we did something else instead. What did we do? If you remember, we used the plug-in principle that said if you were interested in computing a function on the population, a function on that sample of a population would be a good estimate for it. In fact, the best estimate for it. So in this case, we'll apply the plug-in principle here. So we take the population and we go ahead and we take a sample from it. In this case, we'll take a single sample. This sample will be x1 dot 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 all the way up to xn. So it has n points in the sample. And we will call this sample the empirical distribution. Empirical distribution. The idea here is that this distribution is in fact our best estimate to what the population distribution will look like. The next step, we take whatever function we're interested in on this empirical distribution, on the sample itself. So we go ahead and we sample the sample, just like we did over here. So we sample the sample. We make sure n equals the exact same thing it was over here, n equals 20. We get new samples from the sample. We will call these something different. They'll be BS samples or bootstrap samples. And then we will compute the function of interest on each of these Sol uh, bootstrap samples. So we'll compute theta hat star on each of these samples. We can use all of these theta hat stars to go ahead and compute the bootstrap sampling distribution. And we can use this bootstrap sampling distribution to compute the confidence interval. This is very cool. We have directly applied the plug-in principle in order to do something that's incredibly complex, computing the confidence interval of a bootstrap or computing the confidence interval via bootstrapping. Now, what's the problem here? The problem that some of you might be having is that how do we take a sample of size n from a sample of size n or from an empirical distribution where big n equals little n or 20? How do you sample 20 things from something that only has 20 things? Aren't you going to get the same thing each time? Now, the very clever, I don't want to say that, but some of you may have intuition on how we do this. If you remember all the way back, and I'll include a link at the top here, we studied two ways to go ahead and do random sampling. One of the ways was without replacement, and one of the ways was with replacement. So what we do is we go ahead and we sample with replacement. We take one sample out from our, our empirical distribution. We take one thing out of our empirical distribution. We record it and we put it back in, and then we continue in such a way we can get many, many different samples. Now wait, you say. We didn't sample with replacement in the original thing. We sampled without replacement. We had no replacement. We never mentioned replacement before. Well, the cool thing when n goes to infinity is that sampling with replacement and sampling without replacement are basically the same thing. There's no way you could draw the exact same thing twice if there are infinitely number of things. So we've got the two answers that we were looking for. We know how we came up with bootstrapping in the first place. We just applied the plug-in principle. And we know how we sample from the sample. We go ahead and we sample with the exact same size of the empirical distribution. And we sample with replacement. 